Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. Today, we are going to be featuring GHS flat wounds installed on this GNL Fallout short scale tribute series bass. Can we get vintage inspired tones from the setup? Let's find out. So this video is a combination of two different viewer requests. The first one is to see whether or not we can explore the different tones we can get out of this GNL follow bass with flat wound strings. The second request is to see whether or not we can get a less aggressive, more vintage inspired tone from this GNL bass. So let's find out together. In terms of these flat wound strings from GHS, if we were to put flat wound bass strings on a spectrum, on the brighter side, I would say the, the Dario Chromes and the Fender uh, flat wounds tend to be kind of on this side, on the brighter side. They have a bit more of a kind of a high mid clank to them. And on the polar opposite side, if we were looking for more mellow, thumpy, vintage inspired tones, I would put the Labella deep talking flats definitely on this end. But I would also put these GHS strings on the mellow, vintage, thumpy end as well. So let's hear some of the tones we can get with these GHS flat wound strings. These are gauges 95 to 45, and this is branded as their light gauge. In this playing example, we're gonna have two different tone knob settings. In the first half, we'll have the tone knob at 25%, and in the second half, we will have the tone knob at 75%. Within these playing examples, we're also gonna explore the tonal variations you can get with the pickup wiring selector in the parallel versus the single coil position. And as a sonic reference, we're also gonna compare this with my Fender Precision Bass, which is also strung with the same GHS flat wounds. The only difference is that will be the long scale version. So without further ado, let's hear these GHS stainless steel flat wound strings in action. Here we go.
please let me know what you thought of the tones by leaving a comment below. In my initial review video of this GNL Fallout bass, one of my comments was that this bass did aggressive really, really well, but subtle, it didn't really do. And with the installation of these GHS flat whelms, the bass definitely took on a different character. Uh, it was a little rounder, a little less clanky and bright in the high end, and it is slightly mellower. However, even with the different tone knob settings, I felt that with these flat wounds, it still was probably a little more aggressive than what I would like a flat wound strung bass to sound. And I think that some of that might have to do with how the note decays on this bass. When we think of vintage inspired tones, we think of a shorter sustained note where the after the initial attack, the decay of the note kind of dies off a little more quickly. Even with flat wound strung on this GNL bass, I feel the envelope of the note just kind of hangs on a little more. There's still a little more sustained than what I hear uh, in a so-called vintage inspired flat wound strung bass. Now with respect to the pickup wiring selector, I felt in the parallel mode, the mid range was a bit on the kind of quacky honky side and sound a little bit more congested. I felt this was better in the single coil mode. It, it kind of opened the tone up a little bit and the mid range was a little less nasal to my ears. Now the comparison with my Fender Precision bass is a bit unfair. And I think the main reason for that is those GHS strings on the P bass have been installed for quite some time. Unlike these strings here, which have only been on this bass for about four weeks or so. So perhaps with more time, these strings will continue to settle and mellow out and the sustain and the decay of the note will change. Now I have a bit of a hypothesis as to why this bass still sounds a little more aggressive than what a more vintage inspired tone ought to be. And I think that comes down to this pickup. This is a great sounding, bright, aggressive, in your face pickup if that's the sound you're looking for. However, I'm not entirely convinced that this style of pickup does a more vintage inspired tone as well as maybe some other options. Now from the GNL players that I've spoken to, it's almost taboo to talk about or even think about swapping out the GNL pickup for something else. I'm not quite sure why that is. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. But I do think the pickup is keeping this bass from sounding a little warmer and rounder and more vintage inspired. Well, there you have it. We have GHS branded flat wound strings installed on this GNL Fallout bass. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will catch you next time. Peace.